Right now, people are gathered outside St. Louis City Hall. They want leaders to change their minds after giving homeless people until Friday to leave an encampment near Laclede's Landing. Five on your side's Elise Schoenig joins us with what people from the encampment are asking for. Elise. People are telling me they want solutions. You can see about three dozen people here are gathered right now at City Hall. They're making speeches. They've got signs, reading messages like people over profit and stop the sweeps, housing for all. This is all in an effort to protest this encampment, but the city is telling me it's meeting people where they are at this encampment. I'm down here to find a solution for everything. The once historic manufacturing, warehousing, and shipping core at Laclede's Landing in downtown St. Louis. I lived uh, down here off and on for past three, three and a half years. Is now home for many unhoused people in St. Louis like Trina Scott. A lot of people here are a community. But that's about to change. Last week, the city of St. Louis says it's giving this encampment's residents until this Friday to move out. That's what the city's worried about anyway. It is how it looks. Scott says she's made it her mission to improve the lives of herself and others at the encampment. But she and concerned relatives like Keon Cornell now ask the city, where next? I, just, I got a couple relatives down here. I just want them safe. The city says it's continuing to offer housing, transportation, and additional resources to the unhoused people living in the encampment. A city spokesperson also says it's actively working with community partners and allocating COVID relief funds to achieve these goals. But Scott and others are worried about how this will play out. A lot of us work to pay taxes. People don't know that because they don't take the time to get to know us. They just judge us. She says it's a reminder to everyone to not judge as an outsider barely looking in. Nobody ever truly wants to be out on the street and live like this. A city spokesperson tells me that 14 people currently living in the encampment have accepted their alternative housing options presented to them. Reporting live here in downtown St. Louis, Elise Schoenig, Five on Your Side.